Welcome back to another Create Quest video. And we're gonna talk about creativity and self-compassion because one of the best ways to keep your motivation high is to have self-compassion. Be your own teammate, not competitor. This is a great idea from Dan Minlin's book called uh, Body Mind Mastery. And I love this idea because as an artist that practices daily, I screw up a lot, honestly. I mean, if, and if I beat myself up every time I screwed up drawing or painting or whatever I do every day for my art practice, I still wouldn't be on my 3,124th day of consecutive art days. It wouldn't have happened. I mean, if I beat myself up a lot, I'd probably stop recording these videos because this is take five. <laughs> so Dan Millman says in his book, quote, if babies held the same tendency toward self-criticism as adults did, they might never learn to walk or talk. Can you imagine infants stomping around going, "Arg, screwed up again. Fortunately, babies are free of self-criticism. They just keep practicing, end quote. That's really funny, the funny visual, because we never see the babies doing that. I mean, most of us probably wouldn't have walked until a much older age if we criticized ourselves all the time, right? And the idea is to figure out how we can move through life with more joy and playfulness and curiosity so that when we inevitably fall down, we can laugh, we can brush ourselves off, learn from it, and then keep moving forward. Dan Millman continues by saying, quote, so be gentle with yourself. Show yourself the same kindness and patience you might show a young child, the child you once were. If you won't be your own friend, who will be? If, when playing an opponent, <clears throat> you are opposing yourself, you will be outnumbered. You probably would find it cruel and unnecessary to say to someone, you are really stupid. You keep making the same mistakes. You should give up. You'll never be any good. Yet we think it's okay to say the same things to ourselves, end quote. Wow, that's wonderful. We do this all the time. I know I do it. Let's not outnumber ourselves by being our own competitors, right? We want to be our best ally and friend, cheering ourselves on after each bad drawing or painting that we do, or whatever creative practice you have. If it's quote unquote bad, learn from it, keep moving forward. Because let's face it, it's only we who are going to know when we actually mess up something. And who else is going to give us encouragement that we need besides ourselves? So back to you. Are you criticizing yourself more than you should? Hmm. See that we are all humans and these experiences are literally universal. We all go through it. Now, you do have your own unique qualities, of course, but we've all been self-criticizing one time or another. It happens. So how can you criticize yourself less, see the opportunities in your experience, and practice? and have a little more self-compassion today. Build up that motivation to continue your creative practice through self-compassion.